Hey guys, I know I missed two weeks. I've been extremely, extremely busy. I'm very sorry, I do apologize. Um, I work in retail and so this uh, couple past weeks has been a little hectic. And I've also been working on my, <clears throat> my website, um, my artistic website. I've been needing to do that for several years and I finally got around to do that. So with a lot of archiving, collecting my work, photographing, or organizing it, then designing the website, trial and error, you know, it's a lot of work. So I've been, um, been at it 24-7, barely sleeping, working in the day um, at the retail business I work at, which is my parents' uh, feng shui business. And I've also been working on my side business, which is called Co Infinity, where I um, I make a handmade jewelry with my parents, um, well, with my mom and my sister, and um, they're made out of like, crystals or minerals, like quartz and stuff like that. So I've been managing both of those, plus um, working on my website. Been very, you know, very, very, very busy. And uh, I did want to say thank you so much to everybody who suggested um, the quick cure, the garlic, you know, several things. You guys were all very great and nice um, trying to help me out. Thank you so much. And um, well, I'm happy to say that my fish are are doing good. They're they recovered from the fin rot. Um, so that's why I delayed my. Um, they're transitioning to the grow-up pond. I wanted to make sure they're fine first. Oh, look at this one. This guy is huge. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure they're fine first before, you know, letting them out into the grow-up pond. So, uh, this might be, you know, my one of my last uh, weekly videos. I might do monthly videos, updates. I will try to do them weekly, you know, um, it's just it's going to be a little bit difficult and stressful for the fish to chase them around the pond and um, capturing them to then um, film them. You know, I don't want to stress them out too much and it'll probably be very difficult to do that every week in a pond since they're still relatively small, they're not at their full potential yet. But it, I think it's time, you know, I don't want, I don't want to um, hinder their growth or the potential by keeping them in this container. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them some blood worms. Uh, let's go check that out. Put the blood worm here. I haven't hand fed them yet, so I'm gonna try this out. It might take a few tries. If it takes too long, I'll just fast forward until they, they actually take the bite. I mean that there's a white one over there who has gotten a blood worm. Just not sure if she got it or he from the ones in my hand or the ones that have fallen out. Okay, they're gaining more confidence. And I know I already said it, but, but seriously guys, thank you so much for all the suggestions. I really love this goldfish community that we all have. We all help each other out.
So I'm thinking these blood worms may be still too big for their mouths. Um, I've been going to where I buy blood worms and I haven't been finding those micro worms. Sometimes I have them, you know, mixed in there, but I haven't found any. They all seem to be this size or bigger. This is the smallest I was able to get. I'm going to go back this weekend and see if I can find the micro blood worms for the little mouse. Okay, so this blood batch right here is about to melt completely, so I guess Hannah feeding didn't really work today. Maybe I'll try this a little bit every day and see if it'll work. A couple of days I will introduce them to the grow-up pond. I'm going to also uh, make a nice fresh batch of gel food to help them introduce them to the pellets. Um, but for now I'm just going to feed them lots of blood worms and natural stuff like uh, brine shrimp. And if I do give them pellets they'll be in the gel form. But I'm going to add some veggies in there. Um, I, I made a video of the ones I usually uh, prepare. I will post a little link on top. That way you guys can make it too if you were interested. Or if you're just interested to know um, what's in it. They have, a, have algae growing in here too. It's great for them to munch on. I'm gonna add some more. And uh, yeah, that's that for this week. Um, actually, I'm going to pull a couple of these guys out and that way we can get a better, closer look. So let me just get this. Okay, so I separated a couple of guys so you can have a better look. Um, they all range from different sizes and colors. This orange one is the biggest one. It's so fat and so cute. It's a nice orange color and nice body. It's so nice and round. This guy right here, this one has the perfect mix of both parents. The nice streak in the middle, like Padu, the father and cute little lips like the mom's soggy. Unfortunately the tail is a little off. I think it's because of the fin rod. The fin rod really has messed up a lot of the tails. Um, they didn't all grow back properly. Unfortunately it's kind of a, it's a bummer. But um, I mean I really love that guy so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it. Him, she, him, not sure yet but yeah I'm gonna keep her and her. This guy right here, this guy has a really cool color, like um, it's been this color for a while already and it's grown so beautifully, maybe like a week ago it was probably half the size, like I'm not lying. I'm not really sure, not really sure what color this guy's going to be. It's uh, very different from anything I've seen. So I'm not sure this is the color is gonna this guy's gonna keep or or he she's gonna change dramatically different completely different color. Because I've never really seen this color. It's just so beautiful. So strange. I love it. I like the tail on that one too, it's really nice. And some of them are smaller than other ones. This one. This guy is uh, pretty big too. So yeah guys, uh, thank you so much for watching like always. I really appreciate it. I really love this goldfish community. 